Hey, what's going on guys? So with this recent update, Valino came out. Let me just tell you, <laughs> don't pull. Yeah, don't pull. She kind of requires too much investing. And honestly, Cappuccino is still better than her. Now, they nerfed Cappuccino and his damage is still kind of out the wazoo cracked. My Cappuccino is not built. And for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, Capecci. He got nerfed recently, but he still hits like a truck. Um, I pulled for Valeno just because I wanted to use her and let's just be for here. She has a fatty the way to use her would kind of be to really spam your hold attack there. And one thing that I hate with her basic attacks is she naturally backs up when she does her basic attacks. And I don't like that because for those of you who aren't aware with archers, their arrows do kind of disappear at a certain point and her range is very short. So her backing up while having a very short range doesn't quite make any sense. And with the update that did happen, we did get a bunch of shoes for that co-op issue that happened. So apparently there was a bug where if you were doing co-op, you were getting more rewards than intended. Now I'll say this right now, there are definitely some people that probably did solo, right? And then did co-op and then noticed the actual difference when they used hero shoes. I'm pretty sure that those people who did do that bad thought that the reward was supposed to be that high since it was co-op they're like oh okay this makes sense because it's co-op so more rewards however when they posted on the discord um they didn't even tell people to stop doing it as you can see here we're just gonna read over this real quick first of all we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused by the hero shoes issue and unsatisfactory level of search presided we're just gonna skip more than a lot of this right now restrictions applied criteria more than 50 times nine accounts scope seven day restriction yada 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 this is, this is just if you've done this x amount of times this is what's going to happen to your account here now this is the problem with this right remember how i said you have some people that probably did do the math and did whatever and then probably thought that oh it makes sense bonus rewards for doing co-op right now if you scroll here there's some information about co-op related compensation master but yada yada that's not what we're looking for now look at this here so regarding issues for receiving excessive rewards in co-op, we have identified an issue where players are receiving more rewards than intended when claiming rewards using hero shoes, yada yada, give the urgency we decided to yada yada. Use that information when including the dungeon and co-op player rewards are recognized as dropped for each party member using hero shoes in this state resulted in receiving additional rewards portion to the number of party members you had. If two players get a dungeon in co-op mode then use the hero shoot, each player will receive additional rewards based on rewards for two people. I mean, if you really think about it, it makes sense doing co-op i would want to see additional rewards based on you know how many people are in the party i feel like that's kind of fair personally but at the same time it's like depending on the multiplier and clearly it does say reward for two people so yeah i kind of see how it's excessive now uh, we apologize yada yada all that good and dandy we will compensate the players who played solo rather than in co-op by providing them adventure shoes yep those who use hero shows in solo sessions instead of co-op are compensated for those who have participated in both solo and co-op, we will adjust, right? Right? Lastly, to express our apologies, we will give 10. Okay. Okay, never mind. I said 10 fake crystals. I thought I said 10. Like, at no point in this message, but this is the first time where they had addressed it. You can scroll up. They haven't said anything about the co-ops. They haven't said anything. Now, this is the first time that they had addressed this issue with the excessive rewards in the co-op, right? And this is when? It is now the 19th. So that's only three days. It's all fine and dandy. Now, if people were to have been abusing it after they made this announcement and they got like a whatever ban, cool, put out this announcement. At no point in the announcement did it say players who have used this exploit will be receiving punishment. Now, this is the reason I point this out because this is very important here, right? Like I said, how you had the people that did the math because you know, you have people who do the crunching, they do the numbers. They probably thought it was supposed to be multiplied by that because that was the benefit of doing co-op right and then you have some people that probably went and said well that doesn't make sense why am i getting so many rewards yada yada they probably don't think too much of it so they just kept running it now the way they handled it is basically oh you guys did this you should have known it was a bug man now i can see a bunch of you already down liking this arguing with me whatever whatever first off this is a problem from the company right to just straight up be like oh we're gonna ban x amount of people for x amount of days this is ridiculous because they didn't give you a warning here. At no point in this message did it say that if you continue to use this exploit, you will be banned. And at no point in this message did it say those who have used this exploit will be receiving a ban. Needless to say, after they put out the announcement here, clearly if you use the exploit after they announced it, then yeah, you are going to be receiving a ban. So don't be idiots thinking, oh, you think they could use the exploit after they announced it and not get banned? Are you still- No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. Don't try to be smart asses. Not permanent ban, by the way. It's like a timed ban. But I'm pretty sure some of them are permanent here. 
But yeah, you, you can skim through this yourself. I'll leave it here. It's been here long enough for you guys to read it while I'm talking about it. At no point does it say anything about a ban. Scroll down here. Scroll down here. Now let's go back to when the update actually did happen with the co-op investigation. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You did it 50 times, nine accounts. Seven day restriction. 30, 50 times, 100 and whatever accounts. Three day. Now this is the problem here. Like I said, at no point in time did they say previously that those who have even done this will be receiving you know an account suspension i don't really think it's fair to kind of restrict players for using a quote-unquote exploit that they didn't even know was an exploit because granted you do have some games that are like that where let's say you get two times the rewards for running solo and then you get like three or four times the rewards for running co-op there are some games that actually do that now for these guys to put out a statement saying that oh well this wasn't intended so all the people that have been abusing this or playing co-op with their friends, not looking at the rewards and even knowing that they're getting more than they're supposed to, you're just going to get a restriction. That doesn't quite make sense to me personally. Like I said, if you've done the crunching of the numbers, you've played a whole bunch of freaking gotchas, clearly you would look at the words and be like, whoa, I'm getting a crap ton more. So you would kind of put two and two together or you would have some type of speculation, but they didn't say anything. They just came out saying, oh, this isn't supposed to happen. Everybody that's been doing it, yeah, you're getting a restriction. Granted, I haven't been doing any co-op. I've always been playing solo. I've never done co-op. I haven't seen the reason in doing co-op. I'm pretty sure it scales up. And to be honest, I just ran faster. I had like one minute runs versus three minute runs. Do the math, come on now. I'm not doing co-op, that's just silly. Even if I knew about the bug or, you know, the, well, uh, the rewards, the extraneous rewards, whatever, I don't care. But like, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Cause this, this, it's just, just eh. like the game is already doing some weird stuff with how they chain stuff, how they nerf stuff. Apparently, um, armor penetration wasn't supposed to be hitting as hard as, as it was. So you know what they said? They're going to reduce the armor penetration effectuality by 50%. It's efficiency by 50%. So let's say you had 50% armor pen, right? Now the rate at which is actually penetrating is 25%. And instead of actually like changing the numbers and all that, it still says 50%. But when you see the numbers, you're going to see the difference visually in game. I've seen it. My Sansa, she'd be hitting, you know, she'd be hitting hard. Now it's like she's only hitting hard against the element she's strong against, which I guess that does make sense. At the same time, it's kind of like now it's you have to kind of use the actual element, the proper element against them to actually do damage, which isn't really too big of an issue. But I, I don't know. The way that they did it is just freaking weird. I don't know why they touched armor pen because honestly armor pen wasn't doing okay let me not say armor pen wasn't doing a lot because you're probably gonna have people raging oh, I, was, I was getting like fucking two shot one shot in arena by a fucking sansari let's be real even after the update you're getting one shot by a sansari that's not changing <laughs> but yeah and another thing is 50 50 doesn't carry so there was a thing in this discord where simon had to respond and he said 50 50 doesn't carry but the pity does carry if that makes sense so already from there simon doesn't even know what the heck is going on here himself He's just basically a guinea pig for the company. He's just a community manager, so don't be don't be mean to Simon. He's just telling you what he's been told, he, what he's been related, what he knows. Also in the news here, I'm going to continue playing um, Astra. But the thing is, I don't really think I'm gonna be making too much content about it. Once again, I'm not really posting content like that unless it's a requested video by you guys. If it's stuff about, you know, updates and game patches, I'm not really gonna be covering that. There's other YouTubers that probably do that and I'm not really, type to even look through patch notes to begin with once again if it's requested i will do it i'm more sort of a guy that would post videos i um of guides like i've been doing or like probably compilation videos whatever just informative stuff or just game videos in general but i just wanted to go over this because i'm pretty sure a lot of, uh some people have been asking oh well, why isn't this guy making a video i've had those questions just i i read those i read every comment and i read all the dms that i'm getting as well I just uh, don't really feel like I need to be making too many videos about this game because everything's kind of been covered and any other YouTuber that's making like tens, like any, I'll just put it like this. Any YouTuber that has more than 10 videos about this game, about guides or how to play, what to do, you're just milking the game for views. Let's just be for real here. The game doesn't have too much intricacy to be having 10 plus videos. I made literally a 30 minute video going over everything in the game probably not the best but it's definitely going over everything in the game and on that note since i was mentioning it so remember when i was talking about uh when you were when you would click something 
for the for the when you would click on whatever you needed to farm and it would bring you to a specific stage probably that's where it farms that's what i know i don't know i'm looking too deep into it it doesn't seem like that's the case here it's kind of weird because i was running this stage i was getting the survival and the attack scores we know those drop anywhere but i'm pretty sure at some point i got dark and light as well when dark is and light was bringing me here and then i figured out or another thing that i noticed i noticed that the apostles also dropped the scrolls so i thought oh maybe it's only when the apostles appear however i've had runs where the apostles haven't popped up and i still got scrolls so what i found out with the apostles is depending on the color that's the scroll it drops didn't notice that i i like i've seen them a whole bunch of times i, I didn't know what the heck those were i i i'm just gonna be honest with you i didn't pay too much attention to what those were i just killed them and went about my day but yeah they dropped scrolls but uh there's not, yeah that's not the only way to get the scrolls apparently you can just get them from running normally as well because like i just mentioned i've gotten one from just running this randomly it was a dark and then i got one that was lightning because the lightning apostle spawned so really i'm not even sure how they're doing their drop rates here it just looks like everything is rng based and it's just real weird um going down the line with this game I, I don't know i'm gonna continue playing it doing my dailies that's all i've been doing right now just doing my dailies all that but as far as making content goes as i said before unless you guys are really asking for videos or any type of explanation you're not really gonna see me making content on this game i'm waiting for zelda zone zero i'm waiting for the first ascendant waiting for all these other gotcha games when those come out you'll probably be seeing me pumping out content every other day realistically because those are going to be things i'm really going to be making content on but astra this is just like filler bro it's just filler pre wano arc by the way <laughs> so yeah that's going to be it for this video guys get out of here